the second how you doing tonight right now i'm doing very well how about you i'm doing doing okay uh i'm ready for this awesome train wreck we're going <laughs> to have <laughs> and, yeah uh, for our audience we would just like to let y'all know that google shut down hangouts and so we have been scrambling all week to come up with a software system that we can broadcast to. And so uh, what we want to ask everybody is towards the end of the show, when y'all have questions, I believe that I can highlight the questions on the screen. So put your questions in all caps and at the end of the show and we will let y'all know when to start asking questions and then we'll pull them up in order and ask your questions so larry why don't you introduce our co-host for tonight's show i think everybody knows him but tonight we got spencer jameson here to sit here and he's going to translate my redneck slang to russian Ain't that right, Spencer? No, you got it the other way around. I'm going to try to translate Russian to redneck for everybody watching. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. But we're going to try to keep it together. We got this new software going. Mark's going to be running that behind the scenes while you and I talk to Dr. Igor Burtseff from Moscow. That's the plan. Yes, sir. Well, let's go ahead and introduce the doctor and get it rolling. How about that? All right. Well, tonight's guest is the director of the International Center for Hominology in Moscow. His name is Dr. Igor Burtseff, and he is nine hours ahead of us. It's like five in the morning there, and we'd like to welcome Dr. Burtseff to the show. Thank you. I, I'm glad. I'm happy to meet you and to uh, narrate something about my activities and uh, how we studied this subject for a long. Just uh, now there is uh, some 55 years as I started to study this subject in our country. And in uh, I, I was in uh, the United States uh, many times. Uh, since 2004, when I visited Janice Carter, and after I uh, was in Canada also in 2011, uh, and uh, moving, uh, hiking there for 18 days in Canada in 2011, meeting with uh, John Green, prominent uh, researcher of Canada, and also met uh, with uh, uh, other uh, researchers uh, in that kind of Randy Brisson and uh, uh, we uh, was hiking in the forest together to study some uh, cases yes and okay. also in the uh, United States I visited I, I think I visited some 22 states and there was hiking in the forest there uh, since 2004, after in 2011, and after in 2015, 16, and uh, 18, 19 years for a long uh, years. 
that is why I have a lot of friends there in the uh, United States, in Canada, and also now uh, in some European countries, in France, uh, United Kingdom, Sweden, uh, yes, Finland, uh, so many European countries uh, also um, we co cooperate with them. With the, and of course, for, uh, in Russia, I visited many places in Russia and uh, some neighbor countries like Mongolia and uh, now such as Kazakhstan, uh, Tajikistan, Azerbaijan, uh, I was in expeditions in such countries to study this subject, subject of uh, uh, snowman, as we call it in Russia, or uh, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, as you call it, these creatures, yeah. So, Doctor, what first got your interest in this subject? Was it the Yeti? Was it the American Sasquatch or in your own um, country? We we think this is a one uh, species, but maybe they are different. Like uh, there are some differences, like between the people in all over the world. Yes, the people are very um, various on their uh, anatomical anatomical features and also habits and uh, some uh, outlook of the. They are small. They are big. There is a lot of uh, different uh, kinds of uh, humans uh, all over the world. But the same, uh, I think, they are also uh, show the differences between various places. Uh, though I know, I, I'm sure that this creature uh, communicate between them and there uh, they have uh, the common community, community uh, all over the world. They communicate to each other from various places, in, from United States and uh, Russia, etc. They can uh, uh, change the information between them. Yes, I, I think so. Uh, later on, we shall see uh, what was, what is the difference. They can understand any language, I think so. Did you say that you think they can understand the English language? Uh, you see, uh, yes, they can understand the English language. So I, I have uh, a lot of um, data, a lot of information about that they understand. And also they understand Russian language and they, they can adopt any language uh, to, in their location, in their location which is used by humans. That is why they can, but also uh, between them also, uh, they are not uh, of the same grade of uh, development. Maybe some of them uh, are more backward, others are very uh, uh, intelligent. Uh, there is, oh, for example, American uh, scientist, uh, researcher, uh, uh, Lapsaritis, Kevoni Lapsaritis, he considered that there are some seven levels of their, uh, what is, uh, development. Uh, it is, uh, uh, they can be, some of them can't speak any. Also, we, in the last expedition, I just returned from the expedition in some northern uh, area of our country, Russia, just uh, returned less than one week ago. And uh, oh, we met there a uh, different kind of these creatures. Uh, so w one, for example, was not speaking any language, just was uh, roaring and uh, what is growling, growling and uh, uh, very dangerous, uh, very big, uh, three uh, meters, that means 10, 10 feet tall and very huge, very uh, powerful. Uh, another was another one was about seven feet tall and he was speaking, though uh, not uh, 
understandable for me, not all understandable, but such a voice, he has such voice. Like so, he said yeah. in Russian, like one creature was such, of such. That means there are um, differences between them. As uh, between uh, humans also, we have a lot of uh, 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 types of uh, outlooks, etc. Even color of uh, skin of uh, hair, etc. Speak on that a little bit. I know some people think that Sasquatch is a primate. Some people think it's a missing link. What's your opinion? <coughs> what I know you have okay. a direction you want to talk about on that. You see, uh, I, uh, I also thought uh, after um, our professor, Dr. Porshnev, uh, who started this uh, to study this subject in 1950s, like so. Yes, uh, to re remember the history, uh, the first expedition uh, to look for such a creature, like Yeti, uh, was in 1954, 55, by uh, headed by. Um, uh, Ralph Izzard from England, from uh, United Kingdom, in Himalayan, in Himalayan. It, it was the first expedition started there. After that, in uh, Russia uh, or in Soviet Union, uh, started uh, also expedition in 1958. The Academy of Sciences established the commission to study this subject and arrange uh, organized one expedition, big expedition in the Pamir Mountain. And we also uh, here in Russia, in the Soviet Union trying to uh, uh, find such a creature. But it was uh, not uh, successful, that expedition. And since that, uh, uh, our science stopped to study this, uh, our official science, yes. That is um, uh, anyway, but uh, a lot of uh, information uh, had been uh, found th at that time and after later also about such a creature. For example, uh, very prominent persons, uh, very respectable persons uh, narrated about the uh, experience with such fish. For example, one general, uh, Topilsky, general of KGB at uh, last, uh, previous time. In 1925, he was uh, with a small detention at that time, just a, a head of small uh, military detachment. They followed uh, one uh, gang of uh, uh, enemies in the uh, mountains, in the uh, Pamir mountain, and they uh, met the uh, such a creature and even occasionally killed one of them. And their uh, doctor uh, described the, this creature, how it was look out, uh, looking out, etc. That means this uh, very a respectable person, General Tapilsky, Mikhail Tapilsky, he uh, described the creature because he saw him the uh, uh, body by himself. He saw it and uh, he described that. Also, another military uh, daughter, Karapitan in Caucasus, in 1941, during the war, during the World War II. Uh, once they captured such a creature, and he was uh, uh, observing, he was studying uh, one uh, captured creature, alive, live uh, creature, and he just uh, uh, catch him and uh, pulled some hairs from his uh, body, yes, and he said, oh, it's some, something, uh, something, um, I don't know, a known creature, like human-like, human-like, yes. This is, uh, and after uh, 
our professor Porsche in 1958 he was um, uh, used, uh, taking part in that expedition in Pamir um, and also he became the founder of a new uh, science which we called hominology hominology means science about hominoids well, we professor Porshnev used this uh, latin word hominoid means uh, uh, human like creature and uh, why in latin because all the living uh, creatures on the earth uh, are um, names latin names in science in scientific systematic it was started with uh, Linnaeus, Carl Linnaeus, uh, famous Carl Linnaeus in Sweden. He was a uh, founder of the system. Hi. That is why we use this uh, Latin word hominoid, means uh, human-like creature. And uh, the science hominology started by uh, the uh, works by uh, of this uh, Professor Porshnev. I have his books here in my uh, shelf. Uh, his book, uh, one of them is called The Present State of the Question of Relic Hominoids. This is book. Uh, I can show it. Uh, it is here. Yes, yeah, that is uh, uh, since since 50s, since 1960s, uh, this new science started. Though the official uh, scientific establishment uh, don't recognize yet this creature because they say, oh, there is no body, no uh, uh, co corpse, no, mm, no body found. Uh, and that is why we cannot uh, adopt their decision. They're uh, existing, yes. Uh, but uh, a lot of people especially in uh, north america they know that this creature exists yes just uh, at the same locations where the people live where the humans live yes right there is no doubt that they, this creature uh, are uh, existing and uh, very much spread all over the world in many countries many countries you mentioned many uh, expeditions before Patterson-Gimlin film came out. When that Patterson-Gimlin film came out, did that edify what you and your colleagues had been talking about to anyone in your country? Uh, yes, uh, this, uh, uh, this film, uh, Patterson-Gimlin film, uh, yet, uh, uh, till now, uh, some uh, scientists are doubt of if it is real or not. But I want to say that at first uh, it was studied in uh, our country, in Russia, in Moscow, uh, in 19 in December of 1971. One uh, researcher from Canada, uh, uh, Rene de Hinden, came here to Moscow and brought the film copy of the film, even not one copy, maybe two or three copies of the film. Uh -huh. And uh, we uh, started to arrange, to uh, organize its study. And uh, for uh, so long, for years, we continued that study. Here came in December of 71, after uh, stayed here for one month, and uh, left uh, in uh, January of 72. And after that, we can uh, study this film uh, with uh, attracting a lot of prominent uh, scientists, biomechanics, uh, pro prothesis, and uh, uh, some zoologists, uh, uh, sculptures, uh, uh, anatomists, etc., etc. And we came to conclusion uh, all this, uh, even we attracted the, uh, what is a uh, criminal service, criminal yeah. uh, Moscow criminal service. They also studied the food, uh, food what is a uh, cast of footprints uh, uh, left by the creature uh, sh uh, shown in this film. Yes. 
And they also came to conclusion that this was a real creature, different uh, uh, from um, the humans, you see. Uh, yes, that means at that time, even in 1970s, we came to conclusion that Patterson film is real. Later on, uh, American uh, scientists, uh, researchers also start to study this. I, I can uh, say, for example, M.K. Davis in 1980s, like so, uh, we co uh, cooperated with him and we together continue to study this film. And the American and uh, 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 other scientists, well, uh, Dr. Moons was, uh, was studying, Dr. Grover Kranz, and the uh, researcher John Green in Canada started this film. Uh, a lot of people uh, 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 in America and uh, North America also started to study this film. And all the scientists who studied deeply this film, they came to the conclusion that the film was real, that this was a real uh, creature uh, uh, taken film of them, of that. And uh, it was a real creature. We call it party <laughs> from the name of Patterson. It, uh, there were we Russians who called her party. And yeah. after uh, Americans also agreed with this name. And <laughs> till now we call that creature, a uh, female creature uh, shown in the film. Uh, her name is Patty. Yes, I myself made the sculpture of this uh, patty. Uh, it was only one sculpture for all my life. I started this, uh, 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 what is a uh, uh, artwork like so. I, I, I was consulted by prominent, uh, our, our prominent um, sculptors, uh, Nikit Lavinsky, and others, I used, uh, I visited their studies, studies, uh, or studios, uh, their, what is a uh, place where they work, and I studied uh, how to do this, uh, uh, what is a uh, sculpture, and I could show you, but now, the, oh, oh, this is, uh, for example, the uh, artwork made by my daughter-in-law, uh, Lydia Burtseva. He, yeah. he made this portrait of Patti, such one. Yes, uh, I requested her and she made this uh, big uh, portrait of uh, uh, Patti. Yes, we have my uh, wife, ex-wife, she late now made uh, several sculptures, for example, this one, one, yes, one example of the sculpture of, of the uh, sculpture of Patti. It was, uh, she made uh, some three copies, so three different uh, sculptures of this, this one and another one. Here it is, I think, somewhere. Oh, yes, this one. In another position, pause, in another position. Look, this is, uh, it is uh, sculpture on the film, Patterson film. That's nice. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Some movement of uh, this creature. She made it in 1970s, like so. Yes, this one. That's really good. Yes, and third one is here. Ah. Look, another pause, another yeah. position, another movement. Look, that means we were very much inspired to do such work artworks yeah. uh, studying the Patterson Gimlin film. Yes. Look. She did good work, that's for sure. You could see the motion in each one. Yeah, showing the uh, movement of 
And we have a, a uh, Bob Gimlin in 2011. I I visited uh, 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 what is Washington State, and in uh, Rattlesnake Canyon, I met with uh, Bob Gimlin, and he presented me this uh, cast of footprint of uh, Patty. This one, yes. look, it is a. Yes, uh, with his his uh, writing on the back, yes, his his autograph. That's nice. Bob Gimlin, uh, Bob Gimlin presented me this, and I uh, proud that have such a, 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 a exhibit. I would too. Yes, I met with Bob Gimlin. And we discussed this problem too. Uh, that means no doubt that this was real, uh, film was real. You can yeah. show the photograph uh, when I met uh, in uh, uh, Moscow with uh, Rene de Hinden, with uh, anthropologist Grover Kranz, with uh, John Green from Canada. They visited Moscow in 19. Uh, in previous century, in the end of the century, and uh, I met with them. And after I went to Canada in 2011, it was a tribute of John Green. He was 40, 84, uh, yeah. 84 years old at that time. I visited that conference. I spoke there, also uh, dedicated to his. Uh, Anniversary. Oh, he is uh, uh, 84 years, 84 years old. I visited his home, his home uh, in Canada. That means uh, I have a good relation with uh, American, with North American scientists who studied the subject too. Yes, definitely. Uh Doctor, uh, could you talk a little bit? I know you were in on the DNA study with Zana. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, will not you show that uh, samples about Zana, like so? I want to share. You see, uh, uh, in uh, 1962, our prominent zoologist, Professor Dr. Mashkovtsev, Alexander Mashkovtsev, uh, uh, heard that story about Zana in Abkhazia. It is a Caucasian Republic, Abkhazia, and now. Before it was in Soviet Union, inside of Soviet Union, yes. And uh, he was uh, in '62 in Sukhumi, capital of that uh, republic, and he uh, heard the story about a uh, wild woman who lived in uh, Abkhazia in some 19th century, 19th century, and uh, also a local man had uh, relations with her, and she had uh, children from local men, uh, Abkhaz men, and uh, uh, till, uh, some four, four her children uh, lived and uh, after they gave uh, other uh, what is uh, descendants, etc. Uh, till now, I I personally found some uh, more than 30 of them descendants of Zana, this uh, wild woman. And till now, uh, we continue to study this. For example, at this time, just uh, now, uh, some samples are in Denmark. In Copenhagen University, they study this uh, uh, to DNA to to learn the DNA. What was the DNA? What is the DNA? And uh, uh, Dr. Tom Gilbert, uh, Tom Gilbert is the head of the laboratory which they they study. And also uh, one American uh, uh, with Russian origin. Yemshikov, Vladimir Yemshikov, continued. Just yesterday, I received from him uh, some uh, draft of the article. He asked my uh, what is the notes, what I 
think about that article. He is cooperating with this Denmark laboratory with uh, Ashot Margaran and uh, uh, Tom Gilbert, and he prepared some uh, supplement uh, of the article. It will be published soon. Also, this uh, uh, Zana case uh, studied in our Moscow uh, Institute of uh, uh, what is uh, common uh, what is optogenetic common genetics. Uh, you look? Uh, one side is Rogaev. Uh, Rogaev, Eugen Rogaev, he continues also to study DNA. Uh, they are very close to complete this uh, study. Soon they will publish the article about it. But um, I started that work in 1971. Uh, before me, the professor Dr. Porshnev uh, made some uh, arranged the excavation there, trying to find her bones, but he could not find. And after I continued, since 1971, after in 1975, I arranged the big expedition, uh, supported by our magazine, uh, which is called uh, Around the World uh, uh, for the Youth, and also Institute of Ethnology uh, in Moscow, and the Archaeology Institute, they uh, uh, give us uh, some scientists who uh, consulted our excavation there in Abkhazia. And uh, uh, I found uh, first uh, the skull, the bones of uh, son, Zana's son, Kui. And also uh, we found the women's skull, but we're, we're not... Um, sure that this was Zana or not. Uh, now, uh, all the uh, scientists uh, come to conclusion that yes, that was Zana's uh, skull, or, or who study in New York University, for example, anthropologist, um, now geneticist, uh, Todd DeSotel studies, studied this, and anthropologist Shaira Bailey, I met with them, they uh, come to conclusion that uh, this uh, women's skull is uh, mother uh, of mother by, uh, of Crete. And also in um, there in Denmark, also they come to such conclusion. Though, for example, uh, the geneticist, uh, Oxford geneticist Brian Sykes, he mm -hmm. studied two in 2013, like so. He came to conclusion that no, that uh, women's skull is not uh, concerned the uh, son. Uh, mm -hmm. You see that there are differences between results of uh, various uh, scientists. That is why yet it is not possible to say sure uh, what what was. It's necessary to continue this study to attract more. And um, laboratories to study. We shall see what will be result of study. Okay. Uh, more than 40 years, 45 years, more, since 1971 uh, till now, there are skulls uh, uh, which need to be discovered, to be, to be uh, studied on DNA. But uh, this genetics. Uh, yet it's a uh, new science and uh, there could be uh, some shortcomings, di differences in the result, etc. Subjective, subjective attitude. Some people uh, don't believe, some people believe, etc. Some scientists, uh, this is why uh, there is a difference of results. Right. I can understand it's that continuing. because yet, yet it's continuing now this uh, study. Yeah, it, it seems with anything, people read whatever direction they want something to go. So I was going to ask you about that because I knew some studies showed that Xana was human, and I knew that some showed otherwise. So I'm glad you brought that up and cleared that up. Mark, I think we got a couple of pictures of Zana, Zana's son, and Dr. Bertzel exhuming Zana. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I saw them earlier. 
Is that right, doctor? Oh, I did not understand the question. Uh, sorry. Just some pictures you had sent uh, earlier oh. of Zana and her son and y'all exhuming Zana, I believe. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, but uh, there is another picture. Uh, I I studied, uh, I, I was there in Abkhazia a lot of times, and uh, uh, I found uh, her descendants, Zana's descendants, uh, many of Zana's descendants, more than 30. And we studied uh, some of them, even um, the uh, medic, some uh, uh, doctors uh, took uh, the uh, blood samples from the descendants and they uh, conti yet continue the study, uh, the study descendants, uh, their DNA, uh, if it is different of other people or not, like so. This is a question, but yet not, conti not uh, completed that study. Okay. This uh, picture shows uh, the René de Hinden, when he came to Moscow with yeah. a film, a Patterson film, and uh, since that we started to do to uh, to study this. Here is shown uh, uh, Janet Kaufman uh, uh, in the center. Uh, Jan Kaufman. I was in her expedition. Uh, started this work in 1965, and yet now she's li uh, living. Uh, she li is alive. She is uh, 101 year old, and I visited her last uh, February. And this is my uh, uh, daughter-in-law, Lydia Burtsev, uh, drawing the portrait of Patti from the Patterson film. On my request, she made this, yes. And here uh, was a meeting with uh, my, I, I, I was in center sitting with my sculpture and John Green is on the left of me and uh, Grover Kranz, Dr. Grover Kranz on my right side. And this is Grover Kranz with our prominent uh, scientist, uh, biomechanics, uh, Danskoy, who studied uh, uh, film two, Dr. Danskoy, he was the chair of uh, uh, head of the uh, biomechanic chair in our uh, academy. And also um, here are sa sa some, uh, our uh, researcher met with Dr. Kranz and John Green and my uh, wife, uh, previous, my ex-wife, Alexandra Burtsova sitting here. It is in her apartment. Uh, we met uh, Michael Trachtengertz, Makarov, Bayanov. Well, this is a picture uh, of uh, uh, last my expedition in November of this year, just uh, from which I returned. And one biologist here is Dr. Uh, Dr. Andrei Stroganov. Uh, here is shown uh, he gathered the snow to use it for water. And uh, we live, but this picture showed, uh, oh, yes, uh, uh, my uh, start with, to, to study Zana case, uh, excavation with Dr. Professor Burchak Abramovich here shown. And I was young in 1971, we're excavating the grave of uh, Zana's son, Huid, because we knew exactly where he was buried buried and his this uh, this is a daughter uh, wife and daughter of uh, Zana's son Quid and uh, granddaughter uh, of him uh, we started it was started uh, in 1971 when i was in abkhazia i made this photograph when i met with him and this is another daughter of uh, Quid of uh, Zana's son Quid uh, Tanya, she lived in another uh, uh, district of Abkhazia. I visited her too, and she is with her daughters, uh, shown here. And this is Huit himself, uh, that means son of uh, Zana. Very 
uh, special uh, outlook of him. Uh, it, he is like uh, Papua from Papua. It is a different of a local kind of uh, man there in Abkhazia. Very different, and uh, there are many features which uh, are mm, different from uh, differs from a local man. And here are the uh, excavation of 1975 shown here. My um, uh, assistants, some uh, enthusiastic uh, youth who studied, who uh, take took part in this excavation. I'm sitting on this cor corner, uh, <laughs> on the right corner, yes, uh, from the back. Okay. And these are skulls found. Uh, on the right, there is a skull of wheat. Uh, Zanason, and on the left, there is uh, uh, probably the uh, it was that time not known the skull of Zanas herself. Now it is uh, sure that she is uh, this is skull of Zana, and uh, her study is continued. I found her, I excavated her, I uh, restored her because it was uh, splashed. Uh, splashed uh, during the uh, of time, yes, uh, it, it was broken, but I uh, uh, restored it in laboratory of uh, anthropological reconstruction headed by Dr. Lebedinska. Yes, this was uh, in 70, 1975. And later on, I was visiting that uh, places in 1978, 88, 2004, 2008, etc., etc., 2015, uh, 2010, 16, many times I visited Abkhazia and uh, met new and new descendants of Zana. Until now, it, uh, this study is continued. Yes. Yeah. Spencer, you were going to ask a question earlier ago. It, do you still have a question? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, concerning the DNA study, I should uh, mention uh, Dr. Melba Ketchum in uh, Texas, in uh, the uh, laboratory she worked there. She had, uh, uh, she studied uh, a lot of some more than 100 samples of uh, blood and uh, saliva and uh, some bones etc etc from 14 states of the united states and two provinces of uh, canada and she came to conclusion that these creatures are hybrids hybrids between uh, human humans and some uh, unknown creatures in the uh, the earth maybe they were uh, aliens uh, coming to the uh, to to the uh, earth and uh, gave such a, uh, such a, uh, what is hybrid uh, uh, started some hybridization and this hybridization appeared some 13 uh, 15 uh, thousand years ago uh, I don't know not uh, official science does not uh, adopt this. But anyway, uh, I'm a follower of Dr. Melba Ketchum. I believe that she is uh, correct. She is right. Yeah. Uh, so, doctor, I was going to ask, with the DNA studies that you know about, have they found anything at all that uh, would suggest that there's anything other but human DNA? in the ancestors of Zana? Uh, no, this, uh, you see, there are many contradictions between scientists and between those who study. But uh, I want to say that uh, usually they criticize uh, Dr. Melba Ketchum, but nobody uh, repeated this uh, study. Let them uh, to uh, make the study the samples and uh, in this case can, they can say that 
it is she is not right or she is right. They just uh, criticize her not making uh, study this. It is very difficult to to say now what is real, what is real, if she is right or not. Uh, as I say, for example, Dr. Uh, Sykes says one thing. Dr. Yamshikov, uh, now he is uh, in Oregon, he, he says another thing. In Copenhagen University, they say third thing. And uh, also in Moscow, uh, they say fourth. Uh, very different, very different uh, results. I am not a geneticist. I cannot say anything about it. I just see that there is a difference in the results of them. That is why I say, uh, yet uh, this uh, question is not, has not been uh, solved. It is necessary to continue the study. And we can say something when uh, this uh, the study will be completed, will, will be made exactly uh, uh, in uh, uh, some, uh, in several places, in various places, they can do to the same result. In this case, we can say, that, yes, it is okay. But now we cannot say the uh, results are uh, achieved of this study. That is why I cannot answer uh, okay. your question, what was real. Yeah. With the yeah. DNA, with the DNA, do you believe it will take a dead body of one of the creatures before the DNA is ever accepted? Uh, once more, please ask what do you say. Uh, what do, you ask? Uh, do you think yeah. it will take a deceased body of the creature to actually prove the DNA is correct? Uh, I can say that uh, yet uh, uh, not uh, such a body was found to study DNA. But even if they uh, find uh, the body, uh, they cannot be sure that uh, it is okay. I don't know. This is very, very complicated question. Uh, uh, I myself, I'm, I said, I'm not a... Uh, geneticist, I'm not a biologist, I cannot answer uh, this question. We shall uh, wait for, uh, for example, prominent, uh, for example, uh, Society of Max Planck in uh, Germany, uh, if they study this uh, question, uh, I think we shall uh, receive the uh, uh, safe result. But yet now we cannot we cannot say anything about this. I don't know. I understand. All right. We know that you have been on expeditions here in America. You spent several weeks with Janice Carter. Would you like to speak about your time there? Oh, about Janice Carter, yes. Uh, uh, you see. Um, uh, as I told, uh, in the uh, 20th century, we uh, studied this subject, uh, trying to explain that this was a, a missing link between, between uh, Neanderthals or some other uh, uh, ancestor and the humans. But uh, on the edge of the um, uh, centuries, we start to receive that this uh, re, uh, this uh, creatures, uh, Bigfoot, uh, Almas, uh, Snowman, etc., etc., they are not um, uh, they are not uh, uh, ape-like uh, or uh, more primitive than humans. They are just as uh, adjacent humans, adjacent humans, but uh, of other type. And I personally uh, start to call this creature uh, adjacent human. You know, in Russian, in Russian, it is very, very nice when we have uh, uh, a Russian word, uh, uh, we call it uh, snowman. So it, uh, in Russian, it is snežny человек. If we uh, change only one letter uh, in the uh, word of snežny to M, 
n to m we receive another word which is called which is uh, translated as a uh, adjacent man smezhny chelovek smezhny chelovek and i started to call this creature uh, in uh, beginning of the century and the millennia i started to call them smezhny chelovek uh, in uh, english it will be adjacent man and uh, to understand you better what what is uh, what does it mean uh, for example we call uh, humanity or uh, hum what is hum uh, humankind humankind uh, we consist humankind humans consist humankind we call this creature hominoid and shortly homins just homins and uh, uh, to uh, uh say about their community we can call them homin kind homin kind it is a similar like a human kind for humans and they consist homin kind and uh, they consist the homin kind in all over the world and i um, i uh, want to say that this uh, change the change uh, is a uh, due uh, at, at first uh, uh, thanks to Janice Carter because in 2002 when they prepared the book together with Mary Green they prepared the book 50 years with uh, uh, Bigfoot uh, because Janice Carter had such a long experience uh, uh, looking at the creatures since 19. 1972 when she uh, saw at first such creature yes for 30 years she was uh, looking uh, she was seeing at this creature and she informed us that this creature are uh, have many features of humans we before did not believe her uh, for two years since 2002 2004 uh we uh, corresponded with her she wrote that they can speak uh, uh, human language uh, even she uh, composed a dictionary some 300 words of them explained how they, what they mean and uh, we did not be we could not believe her that they can speak because before we I thought that they don't uh, speak uh, human languages. Mm -hmm. At the same time, in our country, in Kirov region and Vyatka region, there was a um, uh, forest man, uh, Valery Sergeyev. He also uh, uh, had such uh, observations that this creature make some structures in the forest. They uh, construct some pyramids, some shelters, etc. That means uh, they do some uh, human activities, uh, yes. And since that, in 2002, 2004, in 2004, I visited Janice Carter. Uh, for, uh, at that time, she lived on, uh, in Tennessee on the farm. I uh, spent some five weeks there in her property and came to conclusion that yes she was right she said uh, right that they can speak they can um, uh, construct some structures they can uh, make pictures they can make some uh, uh, handicrafts handicraft this that means they have many features of the humans and even we found such uh, examples of their activities for example, I have uh, some uh, ball uh, made from glue, uh, glue and uh, with uh, some uh, hair inside. It was made by the hands, by their hands, and uh, some other. Uh, ah, they also uh, break uh, or, or uh, bend the trees, uh, the trees uh, special um, uh, manner. Uh, yes, uh, showing that they are very, very, their activity is very similar to human activities. And since that, we start to understand that these creatures uh, are uh, 
uh, some kind of humans, but another kind than uh, different of us. Also, they played the braid and they uh, braid the braids, the manes in uh, of horses. You see, very interesting question. I found before in our country in at that time uh, in Azerbaijan, I was uh, I had the several expeditions to study this question of uh, braid braids uh, on the horsemen's, and we came to conclusion that they do the braids like humans do. You see, that is why uh, all this uh, composed, uh, and we uh, start to understand that this human this. Uh, uh, creature are human-like. This, uh, uh, thanks to Janice Carter, we came to conclusion that she was right. Uh, she uh, knows uh, their language, uh, and also uh, they. Uh, she gathered some pictures, pictures which they do on the stones, on the uh, earth. Uh, they do pictures, and later on we start we found another pictures of uh, their work. Yes, uh, this is very important, uh, the, her activities, Janice Carter. Uh, since her, we started to understand that they are human-like creatures. Doctor, can you speak of any experiences that stand out to you while you were there on the farm with Janice? Oh, I, uh, of course, um, I had, uh, um, for that five weeks, I found a lot of these structures made by their hands, yes. Also, some uh, toys found, uh, made by them. Also, uh, I saw, oh, uh, very, imp very important was uh, in her basement, in her basement, uh, the this creature, Fox, uh, the head of clan, uh, uh, he was uh, using it as a bedroom, <laughs> uh, this uh, basement, yes. And uh, I tried to uh, plough the soil. It was very hard soil there. I just dig, dug with a shovel and with some special uh, kind of what is... Uh, kind, to, to to make it soft, and uh, I used uh, uh, coal powder, coal powder, uh, cover this uh, soft soil, and after uh, the footprints received on that uh, floor or basement, it was uh, not uh, fox uh, stayed the, the footprints, but uh, uh, his uh, uh, grandson. Uh, which is called Skiki, Skiki, it's called Skiki. Uh, he was, uh, at that time, he was about five years old. And uh, he left the footprints on that uh, soft, uh, ploughed soil and uh, covered with uh, uh, coil powder, powder, yes. And I had a, a cast, a cast of, uh, Footprints and I yet I, I have here with me no but uh, it's necessary to find that in in a box uh, it is oh in special uh, here is in in the box uh, behind me yeah. I can show you this uh, cast uh, of footprints found there in the basement of uh, Janice Carter's home yes uh, and that, at that time. From National Geography, uh, the team came uh, just at the same time, and they made the film, and they, they included me in that film. They showed me. I also Janice Carter showed how they uh, kill, for example, deer, just uh, what is <laughs> screwing their neck, and uh, I, I showed uh, also they 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 make they make picture of that how they do. Oh, it was, uh, it was, and also we have found what was most uh, interesting, most uh, important, that we found many structures, stick structures there, and uh, uh, break, broken uh, limbs, trees, etc., etc. 
since that we started to um, use such things to uh, uh, decide if the this uh, creature live there or not and uh, since Janis Carter and our uh, forest man Valery Sergeyev uh, I personally since 2002 I started to study this uh, structure we call it uh, six structures or uh, construction construction and uh, till now there is 18 years i study such things and uh, when i go to forest when i see such things uh, broken broken trees or um, uh, even uh, something like so or some pyramids constructed there uh, for example in the last expedition i can show you uh, the uh, pyramids they uh, constructed these creatures yes uh, since that we uh, received the means uh, to determine if uh, there are such creatures in this location or not because they do such things until now for example i can say now uh, they found such structures in uh, united kingdom uh, in the united kingdom for example uh, uh, Ellen Baxton. Ellen Baxton now it's very much uh, very resultative uh, researcher there in the United Kingdom. Before there were uh, others uh, uh, I uh, uh, made acquaintance with them. They found such structures and that means uh, they come to conclusion that they are made with this local uh, with this uh, hu uh, human like creatures there yes it is very important uh, and uh, uh, we now uh, for example in the united states i was in kentucky uh, uh, river mcmanis uh, <coughs> find such many such uh, structures the robin uh, robin uh, hence mcrae also showed me the structures which are made by this uh, creature also in washington state in uh, many places if we find such uh, structures we can say that the bigfoots live here yes they, it is their activities it, it was started with uh, from janice carter uh, and others uh, who showed this uh, uh, construction construction in the forest yes in just now i was in expedition in uh, our north uh, region in Russia we found also such structures for example <laughs> once when we uh, uh, leave uh, some food for them when they receive uh, when they take this food uh, they break the limbs just uh, at the same time just we put uh, something and see after two three hours that the limbs were broken that means they say oh i received <laughs> your your uh, present you see i received yeah. your food and we uh, uh, in, in, when i was in canada randy brisson uh, showed me two trees two trees very big trees uh, they were uh, bent uh, twice uh, one in another one but uh, 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 with some big gap between uh, uh, time of making in one tree and another tree. Uh, he said once he saw one tree was broken and he saw just uh, one such uh, Sasquatch came to another tree and br break it with his hand. He looked at the uh, binoculars to uh, that place uh, from another uh, bank of the river yes he showed me these two uh, two trees bent by sasquatches that means he saw at that time he saw by himself that they do such work and here in our last expedition in november we also received the confirmation that they do such thing when we put them uh, uh, food after that we find uh, the 
limbs broken, just close to this food. Yes. Huh. That's interesting for sure. Spencer, I can see you got a question, Brian. You don't have a question, Brian? Uh, I've got a lot of stuff. He's he he has covered so much territory. I don't know what to focus in on. <laughs> keep, keep talking, Doctor. Uh, doctor, Doctor, talk a little bit. Uh, you said you possibly heard two speaking to each other outside the window while you were staying on the farm. Uh, with Janice Carter. With Janice Carter, what do you say? What what the question is? You, po again, you possibly heard two speaking outside the window. No, I cannot say that I, I, I heard uh, speaking, yes, but uh, uh, no, I don't remember that. Uh, okay, all right, I, I daydreamed that. <laughs> no, it was not, not such experience. Okay. But, but, but this uh, expedition, last my expedition in November, yes, I heard they speaking, I heard they speaking, and even they... Uh, call my name, my name. They say, Egerbort, uh, uh, please go out. Like so. was, such a, was uh, speaking there. I heard uh, in the last expedition, yes, I, I, I heard this. And also, uh, I was with the bio biologist Andrei Strogano. Also, they say, Oleg Andrei Strogano. Uh, Give us some food, etc. Some bread, but like so, they speak so. Did y'all happen to I have heard this? I even have a records of their uh, voices. Yes, I okay. have. Oh, uh, about the last expedition, I could uh, narrate something very, very weird things they did there. Uh, if uh, you. Allow me, I can uh, uh, narrate a little. Just yeah, some. yeah please, please do. You see, uh, you see uh, as I told you, on the edge of the um, uh, centuries, we come to conclusion that they can, they can speak, they can speak uh, uh, human language. But uh, after ten years, uh, about. Uh, 11, 19, uh, 2011, etc. We started to came to to come to conclusion that they also uh, uh, own uh, some uh, paranormal uh, abilities, capabilities. You see, they do something uh, weird. Uh, uh, they can uh, use telepathy. They can use telekinesis. That means move the. Uh, some uh, things uh, not uh, catching, for example, they can break the trees and not catching with a uh, ha hand, etc. They can move some uh, things. And for example, uh, when uh, later on I, I visited uh, uh, United States, I lived in the uh, uh, house of Robin. Robin uh, Haynes uh, McRae, I understand they can uh, do some work. For example, in 2018, when I was uh, in uh, Robin's house, she uh, showed us the uh, handprint on the pillow inside of the house. This uh, house was closed, uh, locked, but somehow uh, on the pillow inside of the uh, house, uh, handprint appeared. Uh, just uh, uh, appeared the print of hand on one of such creature. Yes, we started to study this uh, phenomenon, and also uh, Canadian uh, Chris Murphy uh, compared with uh, that uh, uh, hand. Uh, model of hand of Sasquatch, and he came to conclusion that they are uh, this handprint uh, similar to uh, 
that uh, hand which they have model, yes. And uh, it happened in 2018. Uh, they showed uh, it, the, this handprint appeared on the pillow of her uh, husband, uh, Pat McRae. And he showed uh, the comparison of uh, his hand and uh, that handprint. Also, when I visited her home, uh, their home, uh, I uh, compared uh, that handprint with my uh, hand. And it was uh, some difference between uh, in shape, in shape. In 1919 or oh, in 2019, next year, one year ago, I again was in their house. And this time, this handprint appeared in another place, uh, in the bathroom of the same house, uh, just inside. Uh, it was just when I was there. And I came, uh, went there to photograph that handprint inside of the uh, house. After that, when I was uh, went out, I see that the print also was on the uh, outer side of the uh, window. It was very interesting. I started. Uh, I saw it uh, first there in the United States. But uh, in this expedition, look, we lived in that um, what is a, a military uh, cabin on the. Uh, on the um, track, which was uh, called Kung in our country. Yes, we lived inside clothes. We were with biologist Andrei Stroganov, only two we were. But inside of our shelter, seats, stools uh, start to move. Once we lay down on our uh, bed, in our bed, yes, uh, one uh, once the seat or two stool appeared on our uh, uh, legs, uh, just uh, it it moved by himself by itself from the bo uh, bottom from the floor came to our bed and <laughs> it was put on our legs. You see once in other ones this uh, stool appeared on the table on the table. Uh, on the di dishes there, etc. But uh, this uh, uh, stool appeared on the table. And next time, just uh, it was uh, fell down. After that, uh, when uh, our guide uh, was there inside, also in closed cabin, uh, uh, suddenly the big. Uh, can with the water about some 15 kilogram weight that, that means some 30 pounds uh, it appeared on his uh, uh, chest uh, on on his body <laughs> he said oh what happened this uh, can with the water uh, came from the bottom and put uh, on on his uh, chest yes after that, uh, also there were another uh, cases. For example, for example, um, uh, packs with milk, packs with milk were uh, on the floor, uh, and once they fly into our bed with uh, Andre, we were on the same bed, uh, just uh, in our uh, sleeping bags. Yes, and this milk. Uh, fly to our bed and it was uh, torn and uh, milk uh, spread on our uh, blankets. Yes, that was also. Once um, my uh, glasses appeared into the uh, food of uh, boots of uh, Andre, on the boots of Andre. Also, once I was just seeing my uh, uh what is uh my uh my phone a screen i was just looking at the screen of my phone and i see uh, the lighter the lighter was in two meter away it appeared on the screen of my 
uh, my phone. Uh, when I say I saw, you see, I was seeing there. Uh, just uh, I say uh, now they will uh, they will uh, throw the uh, stall throw the seats to us. At this time, uh, lighter appeared on my uh, phone, my uh, screen of, 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 of phone. You see, such things happen inside of closed closed uh, cabin. No, uh, nobody was inside, but uh, the things were moved. They moved inside. We were very, very astonished, very um, excited of such uh, things. And uh, once, uh, for example, wood also was flying to us. But uh, I want to say they were very um, polite, like so. They did not. Uh, harm us much, just like uh, playing with us. You see, right. it was yeah. a, 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 such a, a, but uh, also it was a little uh, danger when they start to uh, throw into our walls of our cabin uh, big uh, pieces of wood. Oh, it was very unpleasant, unpleasant uh, when. They just shook uh, through. For example, they when uh, the window was a little uh, open, small uh, 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 just uh, a little open. They yeah. threw uh, to this uh, uh, hole uh, the sticks inside and something else. And when we opened the door, they uh, through the big uh, pieces of uh, wood of uh, trunk which we prepare for uh, our oven you see just That's inside right. of that and even they uh, break uh, the lock of the door one was pulling the door uh, trying to open and uh, finally they uh, broke the uh, what is a uh, handle? Well, well, uh, what I would say, well, uh, uh, to close the door. We were crying, so, oh, what, what you are doing? What you are doing? What you want? Etc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very, very dangerous. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, as uh, uh, our guide uh, explained us, he said. I, they don't understand. They do think that they are playing with you. Just uh, it is joking, joking. Right. <laughs> they did not want to harm you. Just uh, joking. <laughs> you wow. see, it is very interesting. Uh, doctor, you sent a lot of pictures. Would you like to talk about some of them and elaborate on them? Uh, speak about uh, what. Uh, uh, this uh, this picture, yes, it was about Zana Zana uh, case. Uh, once uh, the American team came to our country, I showed them uh, the skulls, and after that, they uh, took the skull. Uh, they they uh, uh, attracted uh, laboratory of New York University, uh, Todd De Soto, Shara Bailey. And uh, after they invite me there, when they have the um, what is um, study this uh, this uh, skulls uh, DNA, they invited me, and I visited their New York University and met with anthropologist was geneticist Todd De Soto and anthropologist Shira Bailey there, and they said that this is a skulls of just a uh, human, uh, but uh, they confirmed that the women's skull is a, mm, re a close relative of uh, son. That means uh, the women's skull was Zana's skull. It was very important to know. Uh, though they say that uh, the skulls uh, belong to, to humans, but as was the difference with Sykes, for example, uh, Dr. Sykes, I said, mm, I can't believe uh, fully 
to the results because there is a difference between their decision, Dr. Size and, and another one, and uh, Todd DeSoto. Here is the photograph of the, uh, from the last expedition. You see, I'm staying uh, uh, near the uh, brush uh, with broken limbs. Some 10, 11 uh, limbs were broken. And uh, we put uh, the pack with uh, food, with the food uh, clothes, or just uh, at the same at this place. And next day, uh, this uh, pack with the, with the food uh, disappeared. That means they took it. Right. And these are the, some pictures from Mongolia. When I was in Mongolia in 1976, the, uh, I gathered such uh, pictures. Uh, some local eyewitness uh, uh, drawn these uh, pictures of uh, Almas. In such a position, uh, uh, Almas uh, can sleep. In such position, they show the, this uh, on this picture. What else? Uh, this was a, a skull also mm, found there in Mongolia, and they wanted to study that. It was in 1960s, like so. Uh, they wanted to send to our prominent uh, anthropologist Gerasimov to reconstruct the face of the creature, but uh, our Academy of Science did not agree, and the Mongolian uh, said to Poland, this is a Polish... Um, uh, anthropologist Plavinsky, he made the reconstruction which, uh, now on this picture it is shown that reconstruction uh, on the skull which was sent from Mongolia of Almas it is, and these are the photograph was, uh, uh, I was with my wife uh, Alexandra, Dmitry Bayanov Jana Kaufman and um, academician Rinchin Rinchin of Mongolia and he invited me to uh, Mongolia, and that is why I, I went there after. Uh, and one and a half month, I was vis uh, visiting several places, gathering some information about Almas there in Mongolia. And uh, now, uh, this photograph was made in Moscow in uh, some like 1970s, like so. And uh, here is my photo in Mongolia with uh, a researcher, Damdin. He gathered a lot of uh, data. Uh, this was Damdin. And uh, I, I, I was a young <laughs> boy at that time. And Damdin has written a book in Mongolia. I had this uh, text, uh, handwriting. But after that, I don't know where he is now. And uh, here is me. Uh, during my expedition in Mongolia with two Mongolian uh, researchers. Uh, when we were moving on the mountains there, gathering some information about Almas. And this uh, case was narrated by one uh, eyewitness. He said uh, it was a teacher. Uh, he was captured by Almas and kept in uh, the... Uh, uh, Cave, and this is a uh, photo from my last expedition, from November expedition. Uh, the uh, footprint of one of these creatures, smaller than my one, uh, who used uh, that uh, uh, telekinesis, who uh, uh, can throw the uh, things inside of our cabin. And this is uh, was the same place. But uh, in July, when we were on the uh, expedition, the same place, and uh, this pyramid was made by this uh, creature. And this is footprint left by them, footprint by uh, left by one of them, which is called Dergan. Uh, we made the, uh, here, uh, there is a uh, cast of this foot, or this I, I can show you if you, uh, yes, later. This one, this is a cast of uh, that uh, footprints when we were uh, there. Uh, yes, yeah, this is a thing, uh, toys seen here. You see, and another another cast also was made uh, uh, on the same. 
this one, for example, this, uh, yes, it was the same place in the north of our country, uh, yes, which we visited uh, in the uh, November 2, in November 2. Oh, uh, we measured, uh, oh, we have some three, four casts there, oh, uh, prints, uh, yes, this is another um, print measured also. Uh, they are not uh, big, uh, the footprints, they are like uh, a little bigger. Ah, this is, this is hand print uh, in Robin's house in 1918. 1918 when I was visited there. Oh yes, now uh, and this is a um, one uh, handicraft made by our uh, creatures in that place where we were in expedition. This is and uh, uh, this is a bracelet, bracelet uh, left by them uh, for uh, our guide uh, there. And look, uh, it is similar to uh, wreath. This wreath. I found here in Moscow Park, not far of my uh, home, about 15 minutes walking to there. That means they do such. And this uh, with dash camera was made at night. This picture of one of them, it, it was there uh, where we were in expedition uh, in that region, close to Europe, in Europe, yes. Yeah. This is a night camera, night, night uh, dash camera made by. And this is, was the case uh, uh, close to Moscow. One woman, one woman in 2015, uh, her daughter, she's uh, saying uh, the old woman, she was a teacher on mathematics. She was at that time 74 years old in, 19, uh, in 2015 when I visited her, this I stay. She narrated uh, also about the paranormal abilities. She said she was on this uh, uh, location and once he heard some uh, noise turned uh, and uh, uh, this creature was standing, it just disappeared, not moved, just disappeared uh, in the uh, air. And this case uh, was narrated by artist uh, Andrei Lubchenko in Siberia. He was sitting with one of such creature uh, he, and uh, drawing the picture on the uh, birch tree bark. Uh, and after that, when he showed this uh, creature that uh, this one this creature with his nail made the uh, autograph on that picture on the birch tree uh, bark and he this uh, artist uh, he is a afghan veteran was in afghanistan is very prominent and this uh, is a picture of the uh, son a uh, wife wife of that uh, creature which whom, with whom he made. Ah, this is a handprint uh, in Robin's house, in Robin's house which appeared. And this uh, on right, there is a model of the hand of such creature uh, made uh, by uh, Chris Murphy from Canada. He compared this uh, photo of handprint on the pillow with that model of the hand made of some like sculpture yeah it is interesting he said that they are similar and this is comparing uh hand print on the pillow with the um, hand of uh, pat mccray husband of uh, robin these are shown uh, last our expedition. Uh, this uh, car brought us to this place after we went uh, on foot uh, with a backpack on foot uh, to ne next uh, place to our uh, shelter. Uh, shelter was a cabin on the 
a big truck. Yeah. Oh, this one. It was our shelter, and uh, uh, sometimes they used the pieces of wood uh, throwing into the walls of this uh, <laughs> cabin. And these are again uh, old time. Yes, that means uh, till now I continued <laughs> to study this subject, and uh, we found a very interesting new data. For for example. I have a lot of impression of uh, uh, last my expedition about two two weeks I was there, and I received a lot of new information, uh, uh, incredible information that moving the uh, uh, things inside of the cabin. It was very very exciting, very exciting, and. Uh, I'm not sure I could have stayed there on that. How about you, Spencer? No, I don't think so. Uh, I've not experienced anything I don't like know. that it's, at this point. Uh, something I cannot explain how it uh, appeared that you see, but uh, right. yes, we should uh, think we should uh, the, this guy. I, I, I have about 200 gigabyte uh, of uh, um, uh, Pictures, uh, sounds, etc. Yet not uh, uh, not uh, work on this to uh, sort to make uh, something. You right. see, just uh, just uh, several days ago, I returned back from that expedition. That that would have been a very interesting expedition for sure. Yes, it was very very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> For the people in the chat, if you have any questions for Dr. Igor, please put them in capital letters and we'll try to get them up there where he can read them and answer them. Go ahead with your question, Spencer. I was going to ask, do you have any plans to come back to America anytime soon? Yes, I think when this uh, COVID <laughs> will finish, I, I hope that on the... Um, uh, what is uh, springtime? I can visit America. Of course, I will visit uh, South Carolina. I, of course, I will visit uh, Washington State. I, of course, uh, they invite me into Nebraska, in Michigan. Michigan is uh, uh, more uh, what is familiar. I'm very familiar. I have a lot of friends in America, in the uh, United States. I don't know how many. Uh, hundreds of uh, people, they invite me, they uh, show me a lot of the uh, materials. I, I can say, for example, in uh, uh, Michigan, Bob Daigle, uh, I visited many times his home, I lived with him, and also in his home. I was uh, in, um, I met with uh, Nadine Jones uh, there in Michigan, in uh, Phil Shaw uh, here, he even once take me, took me into his uh, airplane, and we were flying over the uh, that place. It's also Jim Sherwood. There, I, a lot of uh, friends I have in the uh, United States, and, uh, and also, uh, for example, uh, uh, in uh, in Nebraska. There, I was in Omaha Reservation. We were working with uh, Aboriginal Indians there. Uh, uh, they even gave me uh, such a name that Young uh, Heart uh, in Indian name, uh, in yeah. Indian uh, language. They called me uh, Igor, uh, I forgot now how it is uh, called. Uh, uh, and uh, also there is a rich, uh, Rich, uh, rich, rich soul, rich soul in uh, Nebraska, and uh, Harriet McFeely, she invited me also to your museum. Oh, I can show, I can uh, uh, mention a lot of names. Of course, I will meet with Janice Carter. I met with her in 2018 and 11. We, we met. I, I lived in Tennessee uh, in her. Um, uh, location and uh, other places also, and um, uh, what? Oh, I met with uh, M. K. Davis, uh, with whom we studied uh, Patterson film, and I visited his home 
uh, I visited his home and uh, we were in a conference in uh, uh, Texas in uh, what is uh, Anobia, Anobia, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, yes. Yeah. Right. I was there, uh, I think, twice or thrice. I visited that conference and spoke there. Uh, I, I want to uh say my greeting to all my friends in the united states uh, who uh, remember me which uh, with whom i uh correspond uh, very often yes uh, and uh, i very much like the people to whom i'm acquainted uh, oc for example in tennessee and uh, uh also mm -hmm. No, I, I don't know. River McMahon is in Kentucky, uh, in Georgia, in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Oregon. Uh, a lot of friends in Oregon. Uh, also, uh, Rodriguez, Davis, uh, David Rodriguez, for example. Uh, Ron Morehead in, uh, uh, lives in Washington. And also uh, that um, uh, Scott Nelson, who studied the sound, who confirmed yes. that uh, Janice Carter is right when he, she said that they speak uh, uh, human language. Scott Nelson is military, um, military uh, linguist. linguist, yes. And he confirmed that they can speak uh, human language, these creatures. On, on yes, the sir. record, I met with him also uh, in 2011, uh, 2011 during the conference in Hanobi uh, with this man. Uh, Tino, Tino, Tino is a Ro Robert. <laughs> uh, he's from uh, Texas. Also, I'm, I greet him. Oh, a lot of people. A lot of, I cannot. Uh, call, uh, I cannot name all of them now because uh, I should uh, uh, mention maybe 100, more than 100 uh, persons. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Susan, Susan O'Connor from uh, Washington State, for example, I visited her home also. And uh, of course, uh, Kelly uh, and uh, Lapsaritis. Uh, Kevone Lapsaritis in Washington State, etc. Uh, of course, Mel Beketchum, I very respect her, her activities, her uh, work results, etc. Et uh, all my greetings to all these people, please. Yeah. Okay, doctor. We have about 10 minutes left, so we're going to try to get through some of these questions if we can. Uh, Dooley still asks what food is offered and how much do you protect it from other animals? Uh, how much protected? What, uh, I don't understand. How much, what do you say? Once again, please ask. What food do you leave out for the Sasquatch and how do you protect it from other animals getting it? I don't know. I, I never met uh, other animals uh, in danger of them. I don't know. Well, just uh, walking uh, through the forest and uh, uh, it was no case of uh, danger of other animals. I don't know. In our country also, we, don't, we did not meet uh, danger of uh, such other animals like bears or uh, though I know other uh, researchers uh, uh, have problems, had problems with these uh, other animals, for example, bears or even the uh, deers. Yes, we, we did not make such things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Jeremy Scott asks, have they visited you at your home? Jan Janice, what? Jen? Have the have the Sasquatch visited you at your home? Uh, visited? Uh, I don't know. Visited my home? Not. I don't understand the, the question. Once again, please. 
Uh, okay. Well, uh, have you seen any evidence of uh, them at yeah. your home? In my home, no. The, in Moscow, no. I, I didn't okay. see any, any. Because I live in a big city, not uh, in uh, some village or some. But but I don't. I know some people who narrated about this such experience. In Moscow, no, but in uh, close to my home in the park, I saw a lot of their uh, signs, their uh, footprints even, footprints on the snow, etc. I saw this. Right. Just in 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes walking of my home. Right. In the park. And... Uh, um, uh, it looks like they playing with me also. Yes, giving some signs, leaving some signs, intently, intently. Okay, Randy Mahoney asked, "What do you think of the creature called Wolfman?" Wolfman or Dogman? You see, till uh, last, uh, till last uh, years, I did not believe that there are dogmen or wolfmen. Or the, but <clears throat> step by step, I start to receive a lot of uh, reports about meetings with them, and I just uh, a little uh, became doubt of that, but this expedition showed me that there are different creatures also existing, not only uh, classical Sasquatch like so, but also other kind of uh, creature. And uh, I'm sure now that uh, there should be various things, various uh, creatures in the uh, nature. And uh, uh, of course, I am a specialist only in Bigfoot Sasquatch, but uh, I, I believe that there are also other uh, creatures uh, existing in the nature. Yes, I don't know why, but there are. There are. I'm, uh, uh, this time I, I just... Uh, uh, one uh, footprint show, which is uh, smaller than mine, it was not of Bigfoot. It okay. was, I don't know, we call it small devil, with a nail, with a horns. Uh, <laughs> it may be very fantastic, but there is such creature. And he was laughing, hysterically laughing. And I huh. saw, uh, I heard his, uh, uh, what is, uh, uh, laugh and went to that direction at the daytime and found his footprints which are shown here uh, which are uh, show on the snow and that direction I was that means uh, there are different creatures in the forest which are not only uh, classical sasquatch like some, maybe some other some other kind like dogman or like wolfman right like maybe skunk ape or I don't know I don't know but okay. It is necessary to, to learn to study this. All right. We only have a couple of minutes left here. I, I could talk to Dr. Igor for hours and listen to his stories. But Spencer, you got any final question or anything else you would like to say here? Um, no, not really, except for man, you have a lot of information, doctor. Yes, sir. <laughs> really good having you on the show. I could just listen to you nonstop. Dr. Igor, do you have any last statement, any other projects that are coming up that you would like to talk about shortly? Now, my main uh, task is to uh, share with the people my knowledge, and I will prepare a uh, new and new books uh, I plan to to make. Well, for example, 
uh, last uh, I, 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 I published my book, uh, which is called, oh, it is on two languages, on two, two languages, which is called uh, Catching Up with Bigfoot, Futbak Sibiri and Beyond. You see, this uh, yes, big uh, book, uh, uh, it is in two languages, in uh, Russian and English. Uh, two, uh, two columns. Uh, this uh, inside of this, yes. Yeah. This uh, this book uh, has uh, some 400 pages and about 700 uh, 700 uh, pictures, color pictures, etc. Et yes, it is very very uh, important for me. I will continue to uh, publish such, but also. I started to do uh, another um, books, uh, a series of the books. This is first one, which is called Hominology in Action. The series is called Hominology in Action. Yes, and the, this is about uh, uh, looking for evidence, for example, this one. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I published it in the uh, United States and also uh, there are some books uh, published, this one in German language. In German language also, uh, like, uh, uh, looking for evidence. In, in Germany they publish. I, uh, I would like to publish uh, uh, books and also maybe make program. Also, one company here in uh, Moscow making film about uh, my participation in study my study etc they will uh, they are uh, uh, they promise to uh, arrange the presentation of the film in february when this uh, pandemic uh, uh, completed yes you see there are, uh, this is my my main uh, task i i, I uh, feel that i should uh, uh, write more and uh, I should uh, speak more, I should show more. This, for example, I was a publisher and this book about Patterson film, Patterson film just uh, yes, dedicated to this uh, by Dmitry Bayanov. Uh, sorry that he uh, was, uh, he passed away on 1st of June. But uh, his books are published in uh, Canada. Uh, uh, what is uh, the uh, uh, publishing house? Uh, uh, continues this, for example, the Food Research, Russian Vision. His book, his yeah. book was uh, published by this. What is uh, they called um, uh, pu pu publishing house? Uh, Hancock, Hancock House, Hancock House. Okay. I also I met with, with uh, Hancock, with Chris Murphy in Canada, and uh, this book is very important. It is called Bigfoot Research, the Russian Vision. The Russian Vision. It, it is a book by Dmitry Bayana. Uh, I, I see my task to, uh, to share more with the people about my knowledge of this subject because uh, it is uh, I know too much and I, <laughs> I keep it with me now but yeah. I, I should share I should share through uh, Facebook through uh, sites through uh, films books etc etc maybe magazine maybe uh, to issue some magazine or paper etc this okay. is my, my main time and of course i i plan to visit uh, united states and take part in the conferences there to present uh, at the conference to speak at the conferences yes and maybe in canada maybe in united kingdom in france i was in february just uh, in february i was in france uh, uh, and also stu studied there. Uh, I hope that I will visit uh, Great Britain uh, to also 
to meet with uh, researchers there. This is my uh, my plans there. My plans. Okay. So, well, doctor. Dr. Bertseff, we definitely appreciate your time and appreciate you waking up early this morning and talking to us. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this show, but we hope to have you on again at some point and look yes, forward. Yes, uh, uh, thank you very much for such an opportunity to speak to your people. I uh, informed many of my friends about your program and they uh, yes, look sir. at this. I, once again, I want, I want to say them uh, good luck and uh, be healthy and uh, continue to study this subject uh, because these creatures are very important for our life, for our ecology, for our uh, nature to keep uh, uh, humanity in uh, good conditions. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Oh. Thank we you. do we do appreciate it. We hope everybody enjoyed the show and wish everybody a good night. And Spencer, thank you for setting in. Uh you're welcome, Larry. At least I can get <laughs> all right. Everybody have a good night. Good night, all. Beast TV would like to welcome all of our new Facebook members. Be sure to check out our pictures and videos of possible evidence. And if you haven't checked out the Files tab, there is a wealth of information that you may find beneficial. If you would like to support Beast TV, check out our gear. We have coffee mugs, face masks, gaiters, shirts, and tank tops. The link is pinned at the top of the comment section. Everything is always marked down 20%. So, come check out our junk. We want to thank all of our new subscribers and our faithful followers. Also, be sure to check out our field evidence videos and our sister channel, Beast of the Woods. That's Larry's channel. If you want to help us out, make sure that you are subscribed. Click the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Thanks again to each of you for watching, and we will see you again. Same bat time, same bat channel. Night night, footers. This has been a Sawdust Production.